Just like I know standing here, I will be rejected. And when you go out into the world, you will be rejected. They will reject you. Your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your kids, they will reject the truth. Do you stop? Amen. No. No. Continue to speak it over them because telling the truth will bring tribulation. And when you start standing on the word of God, hell will start pushing back. And it will make you feel crushed. It will make you feel alone. It will make you feel like no one is in your corner. But the Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So if God is with you and God is for you, you are already the majority. No weapon formed against you will prosper. That's not somebody with a gun in your face. That's the demons coming against you telling you, shut up. Don't post that. Don't talk about that. Don't speak about that. Do you really believe that? Do you think they're going to believe that? Your father's dealt with alcoholism for 60 years. You think he's going to change just because you're preaching to him now? Iniquity is always going to reject integrity. You can post whatever you want. You can post about how much you go and party. You can post about how much you go and drink, how much you go and smoke, how much you you go and snort, who all you're sleeping with. Whatever you want to post about, you can post about it. But the minute you start having a little bit of integrity in your life and standing up for that and standing up for God and standing up on moral values, you will be rejected. 